We're FRC Team 3487, Red Pride Robotics from Plainfield, Indiana. For one team advice video, we wanted to cover scouting. Scouting is an often overlooked part of competitions, but it's important because it collects data on other teams for playoffs. Ideally, your team would be an alliance captain and have pick of any of the other teams at the competition. Scouting data gives you an idea of what teams you can work with for the best alliance points. Scouting is also a good way to get the entire team involved in the competition. Anyone and everyone can scout. Scouting, in essence, is documenting how and when teams score points during a match. Teams develop their own ways to keep this information organized. Some teams make scouting apps, others use physical copies of a scouting sheet. Our team uses scouting sheets. Scouting sheets can change from year to year as the game change. So this is an example of one of our scouting sheets. It's from the 2022 game Rapid React. And at the top of the physical copies we would have at the competition in the corner, there would be B1 through 3 or R1 through 3. And that just indicates what robot you're watching for the match. So say you have R2, you're watching the Red Alliance, second driver station. B1, Blue Alliance, first driver station. Then under that is the preliminary information, so the scout name, team number, and match number. Um, and then there's the autonomous part. Autonomous is completely programmed beforehand. There's no driver control during that. There's points for taxing from the tarmac, so you would just make a note if they did that. And then the low and upper hub cargo. They shot into the low hub, tally that, upper hub, tally that, and then once you're done tallying, you're at the total at the bottom. Um, underneath auto is teleop, which is fully driver control. Same thing with low and upper hub, if they made any in there, tally the total. And at the end of um, teleop, there was a chance to hang in the hangar. There's four rungs, low, mid, high, and traversal. You would just circle whatever rung they got. So now that we have looked at the scouting sheet, we're going to practice scouting a match. Since we're only going to be scouting about 45 seconds of teleop, this is all that I will be showing, but the pre preliminary information up here has already been filled out. So I have the correct clipboard, my name is there, team number, and match number is all written down. So let's get started. And Four balls went in in that autonomous phase. Um, not quite on par with some of the other things that we've seen um, in some of our earlier matches. Yeah. Um, so these robots definitely have uh, some catching up to do if they start looking beyond their quarterfinal and into the later oh, Look at all that cargo for the red. It all go in at once. That'll bump up the score. All of a sudden, oh, it's a 10-point lead. Another massive salvo there from the Red Alliance. Looks like these robots are sort of in sync with each other, throwing a lot of shots up all at the same time. Again, that Red Alliance, the three seed, features team from Columbus, Warren Central, and University High School. Looks like the Blue Alliance robots here are having a little bit of a hard time trying to you know, get their, their eyes dialed in, find the balls on the... Because that was not the end of the match, I did not total the number of tallies underneath, but if it was the end of the match, I just would have written five in that total spot. Everyone who isn't on the drive team has the ability to scout. Our team has one person watching one robot during a match, but in teams where there aren't enough people to scout every robot, one person can watch more than one robot. After the scouts collect data for the match, they pass their sheets to the head scout. This person is responsible for transferring the information into a spreadsheet that calculates the average numbers of points from each team in certain areas, such as shooting or climbing. Now that we have all of the match data into spreadsheets, we can see average point values for every team at the competition. This information is analyzed and used to decide what teams you want to be with in the playoffs. Ideally, you will be with a team that complements your skills well. For example, in the 2022 game Rapid React, our team was able to climb consistently to the traversal rung, but we couldn't shoot cargo well. Our ideal alliance pick would be a robot that could shoot well, but didn't necessarily climb to traversal. Using the spreadsheet data, the head scout and coaches compile a list of the top teams that they want to be in an alliance with. During alliance pick, the team representative uses this list to choose their alliance with the best chance of winning. It is important to note when crafting an alliance pick list that rank doesn't always reflect team performance. The top ranking alliance could be useless when paired with a team that doesn't complement their skills. In Rapid React, a team full of top ranking cargo robots had a high chance of being beaten by an alliance full of defense and climber robots. Analyzing data instead of just choosing the top ranking teams is crucial to forming a solid alliance.